The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Eintracht Frankfurt, they face Liverpool and it's coming up live on EA TV next. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Eintracht Frankfurt, taking on Liverpool. And here's the starting 11 for Frankfurt. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Mohamed Salah. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Early challenge of an illegal nature and the referee can't ignore it. Well, there we have it. The first yellow card of the game. And he's going to have to be careful now. There's a long time to go here. complicated catch for the keeper and the ball's gone Jesper Lindström is it going to end up being productive for them Chance to play it in. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final. And just listen to their fans. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. 1-0 then. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And Liverpool could get in behind the defence. A glorious Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at the near post like that. 2-0 now, and back underway. Might be able to set up the chance. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And a play and a Frankfurt throw-in forthcoming. Puta. So. Good, sir. Border. Could be. 
Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Naby Keita. Salah. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Aurelio Buta. Oh, a lovely ball. Really good diving save. And he's fired over the corner. Blocking it. Ward it. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And good sir, delivering. And the danger is still there. Good sir. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Mo Salah. Takes the shot. A goal as they cut it to their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1 Andrew Robertson Thiago oh the threat is there Salah well the keeper committed himself And Thiago responsible for the corner. And did his job defensively. Thiago. And is it going to be Thiago? And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Has a go. And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. And that's a corner. Now the delivery, and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Another block. Chance to finish. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Now well, the game is restarted and Liverpool quite frankly running away with this one. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Alexander Arnold. That's useful play. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. And a struggle to get it away properly. 
A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Border. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Thiago. Gakpo. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Great opportunity! And able to close down the shot. One block after another. Failure to keep the ball by Eintracht. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Lost it again. Nunez. Salah. And it might be. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Being pressed hard. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Horde. On to Gutze. Well, body in the way. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here. Deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Thiago. Darwin Nunez. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Promising pass. Chance to cross. Opportunity. Oh, fine stop. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. So the corner played into the box. Just the clearance that was needed. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Ten minutes left for play. Good, sir. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Ndika. Disappointing pass. Henderson probing. And he takes it on. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. 
There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. And a short corner, let's see. Commencing not to go along the touchline, Thiago. It's there for him! And getting across to stop it. Well, they fancy a short one. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board and offside well close one Ibrahima Konate how about this England's most successful European club have done it again. Liverpool, the winners of the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The kings of European club football. Liverpool. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.